Today, we're going to flip it around and we're going to talk about the five most annoying types of bartenders that you as customers have to deal with. Let's do this. Hello there and welcome to Wrestling Today. I am your host, John Cena. <laughs> Fooled ya. I'm not really John Cena. I just play him on YouTube. Or so I'm told. In real life, I'm just mild-mannered Dave Allred, the real barman. If this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you and I can hang out like a pair of penguins because they mate for life. And they wear tuxedos, so they're super classy. Like James Bond. With a waddle. So in our last episode, we talked about the five most annoying types of customers that bartenders have to deal with while they're working. Today, we're going to flip the switch and talk about those super annoying bartenders that you have to deal with so we can keep things balanced and unprejudiced and nonpartisan and objective, even though I'll probably be skinned alive for betraying my own kind. Now, if you've always wanted to become a bartender, if it's your long lost dream, you can click on the link below this video to check out the real bar course where I will train you to not be one of these super annoying bartenders. Okay, so off we go then, let's get started. Number one, the nonchalant bartender. This bartender is sort of lost in his own world and he moves along with the urgency of pond moss and providing you with quick, friendly service is just not something he's capable of. So coaxing a smile from them is really hard work. And it's not that they're a-holes. They just aren't very good at their job. So it's maddening to watch them because they have no multitasking skills. So in a bar with like 12 people in there, it takes you nine minutes to get a drink. The nonchalant bartender either has ADD and he can't focus long enough to be efficient, or he's a lifer who's been doing this for so long that he can't remember his dreams anymore or what even inspires him to get out of bed. Number two, the mixologist. The mixologist is so committed to his or her job at making the perfect cocktail that they would rather make love to their homemade bottle of sage-infused grapefruit bitters than actual flesh and blood. Anyone who knows me knows that mixologists are on my hit list. All right, but it's not the mixologists themselves. I have no problem with a bartender being great at his job and making great cocktails, making creative cocktails. But just like any other hyper aficionado whose entire existence revolves around one thing, I can't stand the mixologist whose eyes shoot judgmental fire at the customer who just wants to order a vodka soda or like a whiskey Coke with a really good bourbon like Woodford Reserve, God forbid. Oh my God, that's so lame. Did you see what that guy did? He put like a really good bourbon with Coke. Oh my God, they don't even know what they're doing. In other words, the mixologist and his masterful skills and knowledge supersede your right to drink what you like. And finally, beware. Whatever you do, don't call a mixologist a bartender or all hell will break loose. Like you just called the doctor a janitor and asked him to clean up puke in the hallway. Um, actually, I'm not a bartender. I'm a mixologist, right? He's like the guy you see, you know, right? Hey, Mr. Miller, how you doing? And he says, uh, could you please call me Dr. Miller? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. You and the mixologist can both eat a giant bowl of shut the hell up. Number three, the flirty bartender. Now, I apologize for being a chauvinistic pig, but this is usually a girl bartender. She has her hair pulled back on a pony. She has her tank top and shorts two sizes too small. And she bounces around smacking her gum and pretending that whatever you say is the funniest thing she's ever heard. She makes all the guys feel like she's only interested in them. And then there might be a distant possibility that she'll go home with you later. Sort of like your friend who's at the strip club. And he's like, no, dude, I think she really likes me. She said it had nothing to do with the hundred dollars I gave her. All right. Meanwhile, all the girls are glaring at Miss Flirty trying to burn a hole in the back of her skull. And this is because the flirty bartender gives all her attention to the men who are the ones that are going to tip her because the girls wishing her dead aren't going to tip her. So she keeps helping the men, keeps ignoring them and round and round we go. It's a vicious circle. Number four, the bitter bartender. This bartender is usually easy to spot. He's the one that rolls his eyes at you when you order a mojito because God forbid he would have to muddle some limes. All right, his reluctance is obvious 
as he prepares your drink with a big sigh as if it's more laborious than building a railroad in Nevada in the middle of July. In fact, the bitter bartender is so great at making you feel guilty for making him do extra work that you'll find yourself apologizing to him for ordering a drink that you're paying for. The bitter bartender is simply angry at life and the hand they've been dealt and the chip on their shoulder is as big as a center block. They'll complain to anyone and everyone who will listen and despite their awful disposition and horrible service, any tip less than 30% sends them into fits of angry grumbling beneath their breath as they complain to their coworkers that the world is full of idiots and life is full of crap. And that brings us to number five of our most annoying types of bartenders. I've saved the worst for last, the God Complex Bartender. The God Complex Bartender gives all of us bartenders a bad name. And just like the flirty bartender is usually a girl, the God Complex Bartender is usually a guy. I have nicknamed this bartender The Show because he thinks everyone there is there to watch him perform. All right. And similar to the Antonio Brown syndrome, the God Complex bartender believes that he can do no wrong. Now, the God Complex bartender became a bartender for one sole purpose, and that is to get laid. All right? He drinks vodka Red Bulls. He does a lot of pointing, a lot of chin nodding to the pretty ladies. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? Similar to the flirty bartender, the God Complex bartender ignores members of his own sex. His eyes just sort of glaze over them as he searches for the girl who's five rows deep who needs a drink. And then he makes her a shot, makes himself one. They both shoot it down. And then he says to her, hey, that's on me. Which really means it's on the owner of the bar who's losing thousands of dollars per month so this guy can get boinked. The God Complex bartender is simply the douchiest of douchebags. You know, the type of guy who you wish more than anything in the world would be humbled in some way. Like, like maybe like a serial killer gets a hold of him. Yeah. And he ties him up in the basement. And then he has like that roll of like barbecue tools, but except it's like pliers and blades and torture tools. And then like the douchey bartender, he's like crying. He's like begging for mercy. And he has like that snot, like rolling down his nostrils, like the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> yeah. Did I go too far? Okay, I think that's enough goofing around for one day. There's your top five most annoying types of bartenders, according to me. If you want to join our crazy bartending world and become a bartender, check the link below this video. If you have an annoying type of bartender that I missed, go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. I appreciate you being here, my little penguin. I'm going to see you next time. I am out.